mentoring project in the Hennepin County Fair can be a great experience. This is your chance to share your accomplishments with the public and with a judge who can provide helpful feedback for you. Hi, my name is Shalise Fair and I'm a member of the Country Kids 4-H Club. In this short video, I'll explain the judging process and ribbon system at the Hennepin County Fair. First, let's talk about the judging process. Minnesota 4-H uses conference style judging, which means that your project will be judged in two ways. 50% of your score will be based on the quality of your exhibit. The other 50% of your score will be based on a conversation between a judge and you. The quality of your exhibit will be judged on a set of predefined criteria. You can find these criteria in the Hennepin County Premium Book and the Project Evaluation Sheet. The Hennepin County Premium Book provides the specifics of entering your project, such as what category to enter it under, project size and labeling requirements, and more. The Project Evaluation Sheet provides the criteria for your specific project area. Some common criteria might include general appearance, use of materials, and evidence of learning. You'll also have a conversation with a judge. You'll explain your project and answer any questions he or she may have. There's no need to be worried for this great experience. 4-H judges are there to encourage you and to make the process helpful and enjoyable for everyone. It's a good idea to practice beforehand with a friend or trusted adult. Here are some questions judges often ask. Why did you choose this project? What steps did you take to complete this project? What sources of information did you find helpful? What did you learn? What challenges did you overcome? What did the project cost? What did you do to share your learning with others? And what could you do to grow in this project area in the future? Relax and enjoy your conversation with the judge. Remember, he or she is on your side and wants to see you succeed. After your project has been judged, the judge will award you with a ribbon. Cloverbud 4-H members will receive a green participation ribbon. Non-Cloverbud 4-H members will receive a ribbon on a scale from white to red to blue, with blue being the highest awarded ribbon for this stage. Then, after all the projects have been judged, the best of the blue ribbon projects will receive a purple ribbon. 4-H members 6th grade and older may be eligible to bring their project to the State Fair. If your project has been selected to go to the State Fair, a purple Best of Show ribbon will be placed on your exhibit. So there you have it, the 4-H judging process and ribbon system in a nutshell. For more information, contact the Hennepin County 4-H office. Good luck, and I hope to see you at the fair.